A juror is now talking about his decision to convict Derek Chauvin for murdering George Floyd. You know, everybody wanted to do their due diligence and make sure that um, they were making the right decision and um, that they were understanding and interpreting what was being asked of them correctly. Brandon Mitchell called the experience stressful and draining, but said coming to a unanimous decision was rewarding. The 31 year old banker and basketball coach shared what sealed the case for him with our Jennifer Merrily. Brandon Mitchell says the jury got right to work once they got the Chauvin case. After picking a jury four person and voting to work with masks off, they first took a vote on the manslaughter charge. We went around the room, everybody discussed what their views were. It took about 45 minutes, we re voted, we voted again, and uh, when we did guilty on that, then we actually called it a day at that point. He says they only deliberated about one hour the first day and maybe four hours on day two, starting with discussing the third degree murder charge and how the law was written before deciding guilt on that charge. Then the second degree went much quicker because we already had discussed everything we pretty much need. So we went over all the different evidence pieces that we had our, that we all wanted to. Um, in the second degree, we came to terms on that and you know, in a pretty quick time frame. 30 minutes or so. Mitchell took notes throughout the trial and says he referred back to them during deliberations. What was it about the testimony that led you to a guilty verdict? Um, for me, uh, the, I guess what the biggest testimony that encompassed everything was Dr. Tobin's. Um, I felt like the way he described everything in such a scientific manner, but that made sense though to everyone. Dr. Martin Tobin is a leading pulmonologist that testified about the moment George Floyd died. When did you have your mind made up? I think at that, at that point with Dr. Tobin. Um, I, I, at that point, well, I won't say it was made up then, but it was pretty close. It was like, well, let's see how the defense combats this. All right, it's for the jury. Ultimately, a unanimous verdict on all counts. When we put in our final vote for um, the guilty on all charges, we all kind of took a, a sigh of relief. Um, we all kind of looked around and was like, wow, we got through this. Um, it just felt good to be done with it. Um, it. It felt really good to be done with it and to have come to a, a conclusion um, that we all could be comfortable with. In Minneapolis, Jennifer Mayerly, WCCO 4 News. Mitchell says he left the courthouse after the judge read the verdict and went home to spend time with his mom and family in Minneapolis.